If you've ever had to watch your golf club head go further down the fairway than your ball did, then you'll be happy to know that there's quite an easy way to fix this by yourself at home and it will only take a couple of minutes. So as long as the shaft has come clean out of the head, then you won't have a problem in putting it back in. If however, your club head looks like that, where the shaft has snapped right at the end of the hosel, then you're going to need a bit more to do this with and so I'm going to save that for a different video. So today I'm just going to show you how you can simply glue the shaft back into the head, basically the same as what they do at the manufacturers. And this might sound stupid but all you need for doing this is some glue, well epoxy glue to be precise. Epoxy glue comes in different shapes and sizes, different brands, but the best brand that I find is the Araldite one and I'll link some in the description if you want to just make sure you're getting the right thing. Basically it's just one side hardener and one side resin and they mix together to form a really strong bond and that's literally all you need for it i tend to just use that on its own most of the time and i've never seen any problems the head's never come back off and just a disclaimer i can't guarantee 100 percent that it's not going to come flying off again because it's obviously come flying off in the first place so the glue that they've used it's already happened with if you know what i mean so, so i'm not 100 percent guaranteeing it but i am 99 percent guaranteeing it if you don't want to make it more secure though and you want to put your mind at ease a bit you can get some of this stuff which is golf shaft beads and basically when you put that in the head it expands and just makes it more secure it's basically like when you're putting filler into your wall to fill up any holes or anything. Just when, once you put it in and it sets, it expands out and just fills any gaps. And you can also use some sandpaper, which is not going to make it stick better, but it's just going to make life a bit easier for putting the shaft back into the head. So let me show you how easy this thing actually is. So if the head has come clean off the shaft, then you should have something that looks like this. You should find that the ferrule will still be on the shaft. Now the ferrule isn't actually necessary, you don't need it. All it's doing there is just there for aesthetics basically. So it's not holding anything in place, it's just basically covering the glue that comes out at the bottom of the head when it goes onto the shaft. It doesn't really matter if it's not there or not. If the ferrule is stuck, then you might need to move it and what you'll have to do is just pour some hot boiling water on it or if you have a heat gun, just heat it up slightly on the low setting until it heats up enough so you can slide it up and down. So we've got the ferrule out of the way for now, we're just going to clean up the end of the shaft before we insert it into the head. And we also need to clean out the inside of the head just to make sure that it's going to stick properly once it goes back in. So if you just grab a screwdriver or something like that just to clean the inside of the shaft out, if you don't manage to clean it properly and some of the glue becomes loose while it's in the shaft, that's when you might hear it rattling up and down the shaft. So once you've cleared out your shaft, you can then go ahead and clear out the inside of the head. Again, just getting rid of all the big bits of glue that might interfere with when you're gluing the shaft back in. And once you've cleared out the inside of the shaft and inside of the head, this is when I use the sandpaper. So if you don't have sandpaper, you can do the same with a screwdriver again or a knife or something just to scrape off any bits of dry glue that might be on the shaft and stuck on there. Like I say, it does make it a lot easier using sandpaper just to sand it down and you can sand down the tip as well, just add a bit more friction when you're, when you're gluing it down. Just be careful not to sand too far down so it's going to be below where the ferrule will sit because then obviously it's going to show on your shaft and just won't look very good. So once you find that the shaft is sitting quite smooth and there's no like real big bits of glue, you can still have a bit on there and you're ready to stick the shaft back into the head. And you should find that it's quite snug anyway, but all we need to do is add some glue into it. So I'm just going to take my two-part epoxy, my owl dye, and I'm just going to squirt quite a bit onto a bit of scrap paper that I've got lying around, just so it mixes up, because like I say this sort of glue has to mix up together. And once it's on there, I can then mix in onto the shaft, so just covering the bottom of the shaft try to get quite a bit on there the more the better and if you do get yourself some shaft beads then now is a good time to add a bit of that and just mix that around into the glue and onto the shaft then i'm just going to take the head that i'm gluing back on and i'm just going to pour a load of glue into the bottom of that like so and then again if you want to use some beads you can go ahead and just add some of them into the bottom of the head once you've glued up in there and you glued up on the shaft then it's time to stick it in and if you have the grip with the logo on it and you need it in a certain way then you can worry about that after but just get the head in to start with and as you can see it'll twist around really easy so once you've got it in all the way down as far as it will go that's when you want to worry about lining it up properly so if i was to line this up now I'd go ahead, get it on the floor. If you line the face up with a straight line on the floor, that'd probably make it easier. And then just line the line of the grip up straight down to the bottom of the shaft. 
And once I've got that lined up properly, I can just put my ferrule all the way down as well. As you can see, it will leave a bit of a mess, so it's an idea to have a toweled hand and just give just give it a, a bit of a wipe around. So I'm going to leave this for, oh, I'm going to leave it overnight. Quite fast drying glue, I think it says like five minutes on the pack or something, but I always like to just leave it overnight just to be on the safe side and just make sure that the ferrule is secured to the bottom of the head because you don't really want it lifting up, it's just a bit annoying. Like I say, it doesn't make any difference, it's just annoying to look at. Uh, the glue will also hold that into place, but we'll just make sure the head is as far down as it will go. You can even give it a bit of a tap on the floor. And then that is pretty much all there is to it. And just make sure that you leave it to dry long enough. What you're probably best doing is just leaving it upright like that. So the pressure of the shaft is going down into the bottom of the head. And yeah, so that's all done. I've left that overnight and it is as good as new. So you can just give it a bit of a clean up around the ferrule once it's done. Just a bit of fairy liquid, a bit of washing up liquid. I actually did this with a whole set of shafts where the shafts are actually too small for the head. They're a different size, but I still managed to make them fit. And I was using them for about two or three years and they never come off, not once, and nothing went wrong with them. So like I say, I'm not guaranteeing it 100%, but 99% it will be secure. I say it's pretty much what any pro shop will do. It's what the manufacturers do and that's all there is to it and so thanks for watching the video if you could leave us a thumbs up that'd be great uh maybe hit that subscribe button as well trying to boost my 11 subscribers uh that would be very appreciated but thanks for watching and see you in the next one